This is Andy Perrault for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. I'm joined by Nissa Sowland. Nissa, how are you keeping? Doing very well, thank you very much. It's good to hear. Obviously, we're down here today for the an announcement press conference for the Regis Pro Grade Josh Taylor undercard for October 26th. It's taken a while longer than what maybe yourself and everybody involved would have liked. But how relieved are you to finally have the fight announced and everybody here? I'm very relieved, very excited. Um, I think October 26th is going to be a great event. A lot of great fights, but the main fight, uh, the Super Series final, is going to be sensational. Was there ever any doubts in your mind that the fight may not happen? Obviously, Regis was looking to maybe get out of his contract, etc. Well, listen, uh, I, I, don't, I hear whatever you see on Twitter, right? So my brother was doing the dealings, and he's very hard to get any information out, out, out of. So uh, I wasn't that privy to uh, insider information. But I am relieved. I'm very happy it's, it's happening. It's a tribute to the Ali Trophy. It's a, pr a tribute to the vision of the Ali Trophy, the best fighting, the vet best. And that's what I, what's going to happen on October 26th. You've just said the best fight in the best. How do you see the fight playing out between both guys? A lot of people are asking me this at the moment. Um, I think, I think, I think if it wasn't for, I, I, it's, a, it's, a, it's a hard one to call, if I'm honest. I've, I, I think it's going to be Taylor, just, but it keeps swinging up and down in my head. Um, I think one thing that could go against Josh is uh, he likes to fight too much. Um, if you see, you know, if you see the, a, a few of his other fights, even the Baranchik fight, he likes, just likes to get into a row, which is good for the crowd as well. So, I don't know, I can't call it, but if you put a gun against my head, I'd say a close decision in a great fight to Josh Taylor. Eddie said that you know, some people are looking at the fight and they don't, you know, nobody knows as to whether they've both reached the peak of their abilities, whether they've got more to give. If you were to look at the CVs of both guys, in your opinion, who has the better CV? Um, well, I mean, in, in the last round, they both won world titles, didn't they? So uh, it's, it's pretty hard to say. Uh, Postol's a great, great fighter. Uh, he's fighting again for the world title now. Um, and then, of course, you know, progress has is, is, is done very well as well. Um, I would say Josh has probably got a slightly better CV, but it's, 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 they're both, listen, they're both massive. They've got massive potential um, and no one knows how far they can go. Um, and this fight will give us some gauge as to that. Now let's touch on the undercard. A very, so it is a stacked undercard, starting with the Derek Chisora, Joseph Parker fight. Derek Chisora on stage today with a, a few choice words for Eddie and your brother Kala and Adam Smith. What was your thoughts with regards to what Derek had to say on stage? Well, um, listen, it's Derek at the end of the day. I, I don't think he means, I think he just uh, sort of felt that, that, that in the passing moment and he had to say something you know he wasn't getting enough love for for whatever reason um, as to whether Derek sells tickets um, you know I've been to quite a few Derek Chisora fights and um, yeah let's just say I, I could uh, you could hear a pin drop in some of them so uh, um, yeah look he's got his opinions Derek Derek's always outspoken tomorrow maybe you'll feel differently again so you never know do you think it was possibly a ploy from Derek to maybe just get a bigger purse? Well, of course, he's got, he's got to look after his own interests. Some fighters do it in a different way, um, which is probably the preferred route for anyone. You know, you do it behind closed doors. Uh, any dealings should be kept private. Um, it's the way I like to do business. But he's got his own business tactics. If it's the, the sort of the bully boy tactic of uh, shouting and screaming and in front of... Uh, hundreds of thousands of people watching, um, then that's the tactic you go for. Whether um, that's going to mean uh, good business uh, in the future and people wanting to deal with you, I, I'm not sure. The rest of this undercard we'll touch on as well. Lee, Lee Selby versus Ricky Burns, your thoughts on that one? Um, well, I mean, uh, Selby's coming up from featherweight. Um, it was a two-weight class jump. Um, Ricky Burns hasn't fought since November. Maybe coming to the end of his career now. He's had a great career. I, yeah, I, 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 instinct says Selby. Yeah, that's that's my opinion. So yeah, I, I don't know. I, can't, I, I I've stopped calling fights these days. But you know, you're putting me on the spot, so I've got to give an answer. Got to try, Nisa. I got to try. Um, 
If you don't want to call any more fights, though, we will move away from his card. Just get your thoughts. Joshua Ruiz, two, taking place in Saudi Arabia. You held the World Boxing Super Series final there between Callum Smith and George Groves. For the Joshua Ruiz rematch, it's came in for a lot more criticism. Maybe it's because of the names, what's at stake, etc. What are your thoughts with regards to the criticisms of people picking up on human rights, amongst other things? Um, I, I, you know, I'm not, I don't know what's going on in Saudi Arabia, and obviously, if there is some, you know, bad uh, human, humanitarian sort of causes going on, then of course it's, it's, it's not a good thing. Um, but ATP Tour's gone there. I think WWE's gone there. I think uh, maybe the UFC's even gone there. Um, a lot of different uh, uh, massive organisations, billion-dollar organisations, have gone there. W what you've got to see is a promoter has a job to make the most money for his fighter on that one night. It's not part of a league or a ATP, the, the Tour or the PGA Golf or whatever it is. It is that one night. You're independent contractors. You need to make as much money as you can on that night. And that's what they're doing. You know, it, it, it's not because suddenly there's going to be a massive amateur scene in Saudi Arabia. It might help some young guys get into boxing, but it, it's money. That's what it comes down to. And, and, and that's what you've got to do for your fighter. You've got to make them the most amount of money in the um, shortest amount of time po possible. However, on the flip side, for, for, for a guy um, you know, like Anthony Joshua, who's, who's got a brand, you know, it's, it's, it's the AJ brand, is it good to be uh, associated with um, uh, Saudi Arabia and, and, and what is going on there? I don't know. Let's see. You know, it, what's uh, supposedly going, I don't know enough about it, but AJ is, is his own brand. From your experience of the Grove Smith final, what should people expect with regards to the atmosphere? If I'm honest, I had a really, I was a bit sceptical about going there, a bit worried about going there. I think everyone was in the whole team. I got treated very well. Uh, I enjoyed walking around there. I got a, what was it, like a shave at Barber's there. I had a good talk to the guy about football. He loved football. You know, it, it, was, it, was, it was totally normal, totally normal. Fine, you can't get a beer and whatever else, but... You know, let's, 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 let's be honest, I think some, some events could do without beer. You know, maybe you're not going to have 50-man brawls or, you know, it's, you know, maybe people will remember the fight, you know. And fine, the atmosphere might not be as good, but you're going to actually enjoy and enjoy watching the boxing. That's what you're there for. And they, you're there for a sporting occasion. Um, and, um, yeah, at least you'll remember it and I have a sore head the next day. Touch on uh, Tyson Fury as well. He fought this weekend against Otto Wallin, somebody who you used to promote. What are your thoughts on that bout? Um, I think, um, yeah, like you said, uh, Wallin is he's, uh, he's, he's a skillful boxer on the back foot, um, a skillful enough boxer. Um, he's not powerful, he, has, he doesn't really have a lot of power. Um, I've, I mean, you know, I think, I think it could, it, as long, I, I just hope that Tyson goes for him, because um, otherwise it could turn in, into quite a boring fight. Now, obviously, the fight on the weekend leads towards that rematch with Deontay Wilder, but in your opinion, Nissa, which fight is bigger for the heavyweight division, Joshua Ruiz 2 or Wilder Fury 2? I don't know. So I think that's that saying, do you prefer a Mercedes or a BMW? <laughs> I don't know. It's... Uh, you know, for me, it's um, both fights are equally big. Um, I think Tyson Fury, for me, is the best heavyweight out there at the moment. Um, and uh, you know, I think he's a, he's a tribute. He's a people's champ in a way. You know, he's 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 he's, he's come back from 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 the bottom and he's and he's fought his way back. You know, and, and that amazing 12th round where he just sort of, you know, he he, he had that uh, that moment where he just popped up and was awake again. You know. It was, Unbelievable! You can write a better story. So for me, it's the same. I think they're both great. I really want AJ to, to do a great job on uh, on Ruiz, and I think he will. I think I think he's gonna he's gonna realise what he's in there against and, and adapt and, and 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 take Ruiz out. Well, Mr. Southland, I appreciate your time. Thanks for speaking to myself and Boxing Social. Cheers, mate. Thanks.